to classroom function is even more basic than it first appeared. The regulation has been on the books for some time, but had been generally ignored by all concerned. When Dr. McDonald Rimple became the Norfolk Director of Public Health last summer, he began a review of department policy. One of the results was a restatement that food prepared at home cannot be served at group functions in school. Of course, a child can still bring an individual lunch to school from home. The enforcement of this policy has brought strong reaction from some parents and teachers, amazement by some school officials, and bewilderment to some parents. On the surface, this may seem like a prime example of overregulation, too much government. Some may think it is. But the past practice of simply ignoring health department regulation is even worse. If it's a bad rule, there are ways to change it. But to say it's a bad regulation, we'll ignore it, is not the proper reaction for the health department, the schools, the students, nor their parents. Obey the health department regulations or pressure to have them changed. But don't just ignore them. That's dangerous to public health and to our principles of self-government. WTKR-TV welcomes responsible replies to its editorial statements.